All right, so I'm going to tell you about um, me trying to build a computer that has parts that are uh, all from China, or at least as many as I can get from China, um, and preferably from AliExpress or even eBay, as long as it comes from somewhere besides the United States. So... I have been uh, doing some research. I started on a website called Taobao, which is related to uh, AliExpress, and it's a China-only site. I found the cheapest board on there, uh, the cheapest like full-on desktop board, 18 bucks. Now I've uh, figured out that I can't actually buy from Taobao without um, using an agent because to ship those parts outside of mainland China to where I am in the United States is right now impossible on Taobao. So I went to their parent company, Alibaba, which owns AliExpress, and found the cheapest motherboard. This is not the cheapest motherboard. The cheapest motherboard is $25.19, but it did not support a socket that I was willing to use. So... <laughs> This is the cheapest motherboard that I could find that would support everything that I was looking for. So, socket 775. Uh, says Pentium Celeron, but it's like, I, I don't know. I found some Core 2 quads and stuff, which I'll talk about in a minute. It only goes up to 4 gigs of RAM, DDR2. Now this is the first edition of this video. I will probably add more. So I'm trying to find one that will take up to 8 gigs of RAM. And that is out there. Um, I'm trying to find one that I can get from China though. ATX, U UEFI, um, it's used. It's, uh, that's the thing. And uh, so you, you look at the pictures and I mean it looks alright. I mean, uh, I don't know couple ports on there I probably wouldn't use I mean oh but it has serial I mean that's pretty cool I mean I I, I don't know I'd, I'd like a computer that had I mean I already have a ton of computers that have serial but something that was a little bit more modern all right all right so that's pretty cool so uh, uh, it's got ATX here I mean uh, Intel G31 chipset socket 775 it's just this RAM RAM limit is frustrating. Yeah, so so everything looks pretty good. I mean, this board is priced around fifty bucks on eBay, uh, at least at the time of recording. And I can see that people have bought it as recently as the tenth of July, which, well, if my watch was not receiving, it's the eleventh of July, and that was at ten o four p.m. So, literally, hmm, three hours ago, somebody bought one. And I see quite a long history, so um, I am gonna say that this, for the moment, is my board. So I'm checking out Asus's or yeah, Asus's website, and um, you know I'm looking at their CPU support. I see these terrible Celeron 420s, these sort of better Celeron dual cores. The mildly okay Core 2 Duo, but I, I really wanted something like quad core. So you can scroll down a bit more. There's some Core 2 Duo or Core 2 Extremes, I mean. Too expensive, too expensive, too expensive. Uh, this one at the moment is about 40 bucks. Core 2 Quads. Well, turns out I found a Intel Q950. Uh, Q9550, there we go, Core 2 Quad, that's 2.83 gigahertz, uh, I'll just actually look down here, with a 12 meg cache, uh, and as you can see, uh, it's a 1333 front side bus clock, and uh, one thing that did kind of get me off was this thing where it just says can work, but it is free shipping. Now, I was checking it out, it's 64 bit support, that's nice. This is launch date 2008, but clearly it says 2006 on the chip itself. Uh, 95 watt power uh, intake, or like, you know, use. So that's pretty good. And I mean, I see that there is some 
uh, you know, history. And oh, it looks like even somebody from Belarus bought it. And 9th of July, somebody bought it, so two days ago. I, it, I think this would be a decent chip, but then I'm thinking... There has to be something cheaper than this that's still quad-core, so I do a bunch of research. Um, I think... Yeah, I was looking that up. So, I land on this Intel Xeon L5420, 2.5 gigahertz, 12 megabyte uh, cache, uh, with a 1333 uh, FSB. So, it's equivalent, like it says here, to a Core 2 Quad Q9300 CPU. It says works on an LGA 775 motherboard, but, but, not only does it say LGA 771 here, but it turns out Intel themselves say LGA 771. Now you'll notice they did outline these little notches here, and it does have this little uh, addition or like so that because they're technically like the same chip there's just like a small difference and you'll also notice this is twelve dollars and eighty cents instead of twenty eight seventy five so yeah so then I'm thinking well if this is twelve dollars and eighty cents can't I get a better Xeon so uh, yeah look Xeons are usually much cheaper um, Fourteen dollars on eBay for a CPU that's equivalent to something that is probably like selling for thirty. That's not even worth it. So now I'm on this X fifty four sixty that is a three point sixteen gigahertz quad core, and it's also coming from China as you can see down here. Although I've never seen that town before, and I buy a lot of stuff from China. So it has an adapter. It has it has uh, it's LGA seven seven five and um with the cutouts and the addition so uh has most of what i'm looking for although the power usage is not a ton more but still kind of significant same fsb speed same cash amount it's like it's like almost the same 15 bucks and now I was looking at how much it would be to, you know, get these adapters. 95 cents. So, is it cheaper to get, you know, some sort of Xeon that's quad-core, just add this, or do I just go buy one that somebody's, like, already put the adapter on for me, or do I go buy, uh, you know, just, like, this Core 2 quad that I have that would just work? And it's kind of tough, because if I go on the Xeon path, it's going to be a lot harder to set up. Um, I mean, maybe it'll just be easy, but most of the time I need some sort of BIOS. Uh, you know, I need to flash the BIOS with something, and I, I just don't think it'd be available, because, you know, board was not designed for that 775. So, um, possibly some complications there. I mean... This Q9-9550 is not that bad. I think what I'm really stuck on now is just the board with, like, the 4 gigs of RAM limit. Because I think my main goal for this PC, besides having the parts be from China, is that I want it to actually be able to, you know, do something. I don't want it to be just a web browsing PC. I want it to be able to, you know, render some video or something or be a active web server at the same time and maybe I want to game a bit on it if you know I take my laptop somewhere else so uh, it has to have enough power so um, finding all the right parts for that uh, is a little tricky especially um, when it's coming from budget websites like AliExpress or uh, eBay but uh, hopefully I'll be able to figure that out and um, I think uh, I might change the motherboard up a bit, hopefully to get me an 8 gig, uh, 8 gig RAM limit, and maybe not DDR2. It'd be nice to find something with, you know, DDR3, slightly higher clock speed. I don't know if this is. <coughs> Let's see, is there any other specs here? No, not much. Yeah, so hopefully I can find some other, uh, some sort of other board, um, somewhere in the same range. And uh, of 
of price. So uh, we'll see what I can do. So yeah, thank you. Bye bye.